Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and welcome to my May TBR. Um, this will also include the details for the Mafia Romance Readathon, which is going to be the first weekend in May, May 4th through the 7th. So we're going to start with the rest of my TBR to do that for everyone who's who's here for that. And then if you don't care about the Mafia Romance Readathon, which you really should, but I understand if you don't, you can leave when we get to the end of that part. So first up, we're going to dive right in with my May TBR. And as always, we'll start with the books I'm reading for book clubs and for buddy reads. So this month for ABCs of Love, we will have our first month where there will be three books that we're reading. So since there are 26 books in the alphabet, you know, there's 26 letters, 26 books, um, there are two months where we have to do three books and May is going to be the first one. So for this one, we have Illicit by Jessalyn Jameson, um, Jerk by Daryl Banner, and Kisses by Christine Duggar. So those are going to be the three that we are doing. So I'm really intrigued by these. I can't wait to give them a go. Um, I actually enjoyed Goddess quite a bit, um, but we'll be talking about those books in our Maybe that will already be, um, will have already happened. I'm not sure when I'm putting this video up, so maybe that will have already happened, but um, I've been enjoying doing this. I haven't enjoyed all the books for sure, but I've enjoyed the people. So um, Jackie from First Lady Reads is who first asked me to do this, and um, Becky has joined us in basically. She's been on all of them with us and has been having a great time as well. Um, the other book that I'm doing as a buddy read is with my friend Rachel from Rachel Reads Romance, and we had buddy read, um, I actually had it nearby, is it this one? We actually had buddy read Beautiful Things this month, just kind of on a whim. We both were interested and we read it at the same time, and so we're now going to purposely as well buddy read um, His Grace the Duke by Emily Rath, which is the second part to that duet. This is a Regency romance, Why Choose, or Reverse Harem, if you will, and um, I, I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm intrigued to see where it goes. Next up, we have quite a list of new and upcoming releases. So I'm going to get through these as best as I can. Um, there was actually one book I wanted to check. I meant to check it before I started filming. Um, but I'll just say, so I'm going to go over all of the like releases, the ones that I either have an arc for or plan to read. Um, but just know that, um, well, I'll tell you about it. There's a couple of these that I already have arcs for. Or have already even read um, but I'll tell you which books come out in May just so that you can know anyway there is of course um, Illicit King comes out on May 1st I have the arc I've already started this one I actually had that book in my April TBR which is why I'm reading it right now because I knew I would have the arc ahead of time um, so yeah that is a mafia romance another one that will be perfect for the mafia romance readathon um, because it uh, comes out it'll work as a new release and it comes out right as um, this is the start of her Irish mafia branch of the mafia wars and I can't wait to read more mafia from Maggie Cole then there is Grimm and Barrett by Juliet Cross which I have already read the arc for that one but it comes out May uh, 9th I don't want to get these wrong I'm not going to say the dates when this stuff comes out so that I don't mess it up but Grimm and Barrett Y'all are going to love it. Um, that one comes out. Very exciting. Um, Runaway Love by Melanie Harlow. This is one I didn't get an arc for. Yes, yes, y'all. Jen gets rejected for arcs sometimes. Um, Melanie Harlow has just blown up, and so I don't always get accepted for her arcs, which is totally fine. I will still read it as soon as it comes out. I know this one comes out near the beginning of the month. Um, this one is going to be a single dad nanny romance, but it like begins with the heroine having run away from her wedding, I think. So let's do it. Let's see where it goes. She has made a switch to um, uh, discreet covers. Um, I have talked about in the previous videos. I don't love it. Her covers are some of the best in the business, in my opinion. And so I won't pretend that I'm not brokenhearted that she's made this decision um, and doesn't offer like both. Um, I wish she would do like a double reveal. But here's the thing too to remember. Not all authors want that of uh, you know, want that expense to have to have paid for two covers. Um, if they know which ones are trending better, like they'll make that decision. But we can 
put forth our like feelings on it by not choosing to buy those books. Whereas like I'm still going to read the book, I'm going to read the ebook, but I'm not going to buy the physical book to add to my collection the way that I would for one of the hunky covers. Like that's, that's just facts to me. That's just facts, right? Like the way that I, let me find one because I literally just did a book haul. So it's here. Like the way that I want this on my shelf over the flower cover, it cannot be overstated how much I'd rather have the sexy man, but not everybody does. Not everybody does. So, you know, I'm still excited for the book, which is my point. I just don't buy a physical copy of one like that. I mean, granted, if it's the best book I've ever read by Melanie Harlow, I'll eat my tongue and I'll do it because my pride goeth before I buy myself a book. Okay. But anyway, I'm rambling. We need to move along, Jen. Then another one that I have the arc for that I will be reading before May, um, but I haven't yet, is Save One Thing by Jay Wolf. This is the first book in her Savage Academy, which will be in the Savage You Savage River world. Um, this one is the younger brother of Julian from book um, four and the younger sister of Helen from book one. And this is going to be their romance together. And I have the arc and I can't wait. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm happy. Liars Like Us by JT Geisinger. I've not been approved for the arc yet. I don't think like anybody has yet. Uh, but this one comes out mid uh, May and this is the start of her new series. Um, can't wait. I think this one is, is it fake dating? I can't remember. I don't care. I don't care. It's JT Geisinger. We're reading it. So now I have two books that were actually pushed from April. So they were on my April TBR. Both of these books are actually ones I have pre-ordered and both of these I got emails recently that they were pushed to May, which was sad for me. So Zane by Ella Frank. I had this on my TBR and they're like, nope, not today. So next month. And then Bound by Kara Claire, which this is the one you guys I was so hyped about because it's a share con, like jungle book retelling. There was this image that had sold me on the book. I talked about it in the last TBR and we're talking about it again because it's pre-ordered and I want it. And now it moved until it moved a whole month. It moved to the end of May. Um, a Crown of Ivy and Glass by Claire Legrand. So um, this is Claire Legrand who she wrote, um, I don't even remember the full series name. I think there was like the Iron Crown and like the Glass King, Glass Tower. Like I can't remember them, but I would read like the first three in the series. And then it was in the period where I was leaving kind of like YA fantasy. Um, and I didn't continue it on. Um, but this is her first adult fantasy romance. And there was an arc available on Neck Alley, snapped it up. And then it's getting closer. I thought it was further away, but it comes out in May and they just put up the audio arc. So I did snag an audio arc. So I will make a priority to finish this before it comes out. Um, adult fantasy has been doing really good to me lately. And so I'm hopeful for this one. Um, because I know there was things that I loved about her books back then. Red Queen. That's what the first one was called. Sorry. Red Queen, Glass Sword. Those are the two I remember. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I'm intrigued by it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. The Dueling Duchess by Minerva Spencer. This was one that I'd wavered on if I wanted it or not. Um, I like her indie releases better. There's no surprise. Well, not all of them because Dangerous and Barbarous, obviously favorites, love those. But I tend to like her indie releases better. Like I really love um, Hyacinth and Phoebe so much. Like I appreciate those books so much. Um, and the Boxing Baroness, like, just did not hit for me. But the Dueling Duchess, I'm a bit more intrigued by, so I did snag an arc of that. Then there is Boom Slang by Naomi Lucas. This, of course, is book five in the Naga Bride series, and we are down for that. I can't wait for her to release a steamy cover of this one. Um, I love this series, and I'm so glad that she has so many planned for her snake men. I just, I love it. Um, Dangerous Innocence by Cora Riley, her new Irish Mafia series she's starting, which has no connection to her other Mafia world, and I'm excited to see what she does with a fresh slate. That is... I said that when it's brought, brought up and people ask me how I'll think about it. I've definitely had mixed opinions for 
her books coming out after Twisted Emotions. I've had mixed feelings about them, but I did love her most recent one in the second gen series. I really did. Um, and I'm intrigued with a fresh slate because I think that's what she needs so people can stop comparing the kids to their parents. I'm intrigued by a fresh start. So Dangerous Innocence is going to be that. Then the one that I had to look up because this just got announced and I didn't have it in my notes is there is a monstrous story collection coming from Lily Main. Um, this one will have, I think she said 16 different shorts. So these are all shorts that she released on her website as well as like basically a novella about one of the other characters. So she's going to be putting this out May 19th and I can't wait. I can't wait to read it. It's going to be amazing because I've read a couple of those shorts, but usually when authors release shorts, I just don't get around to them, which is sad, but it's true. It happens. I don't get around to them and very, very pumped for that one. And then the last one I wanted to mention, which is a release, but I've already read, I actually read it a couple months ago because I was impatient, is The Duchess Takes a Husband by Harper St. George. And I very much enjoyed this one. I think I gave it a four and a half, but rounded to a five because um, it was just... It really touched me. I really enjoyed it. So that one comes out. Make sure you get down for that one. <sighs> okay, lots of talking. Now, real quick, I'll just share what the Patreon books that I am reading or rereading for the month will be. Um, so the book that got picked, and this one is for an office romance. That was our theme for May, was Down and Out by Kelly R. Martin. I don't know anything about this one, but it doesn't matter because it is the Patreon pick. So we're going to go for it. I think it's a gym boss though like he is her boss at a gym so intriguing um i'm going to be rereading tempt me at twilight by lisa claypez can't wait can't wait um uh escorted by claire kent and stolen touches by neva altaj these were all picked for me to annotate also the villain by lj shen now i was almost hesitant to pick this one or to like agree to this one because um i've shared like, oh, I don't share it all the time because with you guys, like, I don't talk about authors that I don't talk about because I don't like to, like, stir up the tea. Like, I don't, I just don't play the tea game. Like, I don't do it. But there are some authors that are on kind of like a personal, just like, I stay away. Like, I just, I don't read them. And LJ Shen is someone that I used to read. There was some drama with her. I'm not dragging back up. This is not the tea time. But I'm telling you why I haven't read her in a few years is because there was some drama. I'd seen some icky things. Like, with my own eyes, I th I'd seen things she'd posted, and I've heard from people that I was good friends with about how she'd been treated by them, and so hadn't touched her. Um, but I've been curious, again, in recent years, she was someone that um, I read uh, her and Penelope Douglas at the same time a friend of mine got me into their books, and I've been wanting to try her again. And so when one of my patrons picked the villain, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get paid to read this book. Let's try it. You know, so I hope that I enjoy it. I'm definitely willing to give it a go and see how it shakes out. And then two copies of Grimm and Barrett by Juliet Cross, which again, already read it, already started annotating it on my Kindle scribe and so excited to when I have physical copies of it and dive into it and get it out to you guys. I can't wait. Okay, then we have a short list of hopefuls because as you can tell my uh my cup runneth over with things like spring and summer i swear the most new books come out at those times um oh i even forgot to mention one i'm so sorry we'll throw this in there there's also a new release i want to get to which is carla Sorensen's new one one and only because i'm doing this kind of on the dl not on the dl i'm reviewing them on my weekly wrap-ups but i'm catching up in her books so like I just read um, Faked, which I haven't talked about to you guys yet because I read it just this week, um, but I'm catching up to her books and she has a new one coming out. One and only is coming out in May and I probably read it. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I have a few books that are, where is this hair? That are on my hopefuls list. This includes some books from my um, 12 Rex from 12 Friends, as well as my trope challenge that I'm doing. And then a couple other things, and then we'll get into the Mafia Readathon. Okay? Okay? I've made us wait long enough for that. So, um, one of my books from the 12 Rex 
by 12 friends challenge is it starts with a scandal by julianne long this was recommended by jessen from jessen reads romance my bestie my girl she really loved the penny royal green series um last year is when she was reading that i think and really enjoyed it and so she recommended it starts with a scandal to me and i think i've read one julianne long before um not enough to remember it as they say but uh i read that one so we're gonna give that one a go because i have an audiobook for it and i trust jessen's um thoughts on it then um i just picked two books that were from my trope challenge because the books that have been getting pushed the most have been my trope challenge books and i'm really sad about that um but it, it's also like i could put other books in place so you can see this is the trope challenge i created using stickers from brie and love and words her shop she has these trope stickers and i wanted to use them in this way so the filled in ones are the ones that i've done um and i add them into every tbr but they're the book that usually gets pushed because there's no like great like super push to get to them when I have other commitments. So I need to start filling this board in like we're getting away in here. So I picked two but this month might be the first month that if I read a book that has one of these tropes that are like tough to get to I might just fill it in because it's all arbitrary anyway. It's a challenge that I made up but I also don't want to fail at the challenge. You know what I mean? So we do what we got to do. So I picked one for office romance, which is funny, right? Because I'm doing an office romance. That's, um, one of the ones for you guys. Where is it at? Oh no, for BDSM. It's also in the office. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do governor by leslie richardson and I'm going to read that for BDSM. Um, this one I think is also an MMF series. Two reasons I want to read this. Number one, it was BDSM and I was like, great, let's do it. Number two, I got this one when it was free from like two times ago in the like stuff your Kindle event. And I was like, Jen, that's perfect. Someone recommended it to you. Let's do that one. So we're going to read governor. Um, and it takes place in a governor's office and, um, there's BDSM. And I think it's a, it's a couple. And then the governor, like, I don't think the governor's married. I think he gets involved with a married couple. I think. I don't know. And I can't remember, but we're going to try it. Then um, I wanted to do a billionaire romance. And one of the bil uh, billionaire romance that was recommended was by this author. Now, I used to own the book that was recommended, but I don't anymore. I don't know why. If I just hadn't read it in so long, I don't edit it. But I have another book by the same author that's also a billionaire and I'm also going to be seeing this author at the book signing I'm going to this month. So after that long explanation, I'm going to read Most Eligible Billionaire by Annika Martin um, and I'm going to get this book signed when I go see her as well. And she's also a Minnesota author, which is great. I grew up in Minnesota. So yeah, I'm going to read this one for the billionaire trope, which is cool. Um, then a couple other books on here. I want to get to The Coven by Harper L. Woods. There's an audiobook for this one. It's a new release. This is also a book I just bought myself with my birthday money and I've been seeing good things. We'll see. I still haven't tried one of Adelaide Forest fantasy books, even though I've been collecting them. So it's time to do it. And when the audio had just dropped, I was like, perfect. It's time to do it. Then, um, The Wrong Bride by Katharina Mara. Um, I think that I love her covers. Also, there's audiobooks for most of hers as well. So I want to give this one a go. I have book one and two, like in this series. So I want to get to that one. And then the final book that is an audiobook, um, is Savage Desire by Tiffany Roberts. I've been reading the Infinite series series city series as the audiobooks come out and savage desire was just dropped so it's time to listen to that one. <sighs> okay we finished those are all the books that are on my main tbr if that's what you're here for thank you please like this video you can head out if you want to know more about the mafia romance readathon and what we do you can stick around because we're going to dive into that part so the Mafia Romance Readathon is a readathon that I started with a few friends two years ago. We started it um, 
but yeah, this is going to be the third time that we're doing it. Um, we have some new friends who are hosting with me because some of the previous hosts, they're busy. They can't do it. We're not as in touch as we used to be. So I scooped up some new friends who I know also love mafia and we're going to have a great time with it. So my co-hosts are Jackie from first lady reads, Joe from not so average Joe and Rachel from Rachel reads and sings. Um, this readathon, as I mentioned, will be from May 4th through the 7th. We always do it the first weekend in May because it's uh, Mafia May is how I do it. And it is so much fun. I love it. So um, we usually host this mostly on Instagram, although if you check my community page here on YouTube, I did also post these templates that I'll be talking about. Um, we do a bingo board. This time around, there will not be like prizes or things for that. We're just going to... Um, we're just going to play the game and we're going to do it as a reading challenge. And so you don't even have to use the bingo board. You could just make up your TBR, try to hit some prompts, do whatever you want. Read one book, try Mafia for the first time, or read 10. Do what you can. Like it's, it's four days. I know it's not a ton of time, but four days is kind of like a sweet spot. I feel like you can keep your excitement for a whole four days. Whereas with some readathons, you know, you start to wane by the end of it or things are happening, but we're going to do it. So, um, this... I have the little, I just made a nine by nine board option this time, but I do have a ton of prompts for you to choose. So if you want, you can make a double board. Um, you could do whatever you want for that. Um, but I also wanted to try some really unique prompts. Um, and I'm really excited about, and I have a really cool TBR put together that I can't wait to share with you guys. Where did I put? Okay. There it is. Sweet. Okay. So let's go over the prompts real quick though, because I'll explain those to everybody. Um, also there will be reading sprints that are done here on YouTube, but we don't have those planned ahead yet, but the live show to wrap it up will be on my channel on Sunday at 6 PM central. So come hang out then and we'll talk about our favorites and probably do a reading sprint or two then too, to end out the night. But, um, we'll announce here on YouTube and on my Instagram when we decide when the other reading sprints will be and everything too. So, um, the prompts that I put together for this one, I'm pretty excited about. So we have your standard. There's a host recommendation. Um, both me and the gals will be, will have, like, I probably won't make a new mafia rec video right now because I have several, which I will have linked or linked down below that cover most of these prompts. Um, but I also will be sharing some on my Instagram. Um, so you can check out any book that I've ever recommended. That's a mafia counts as a host rec. Same goes for the other hosts. Then we have the different types of mafia. Now people want to get nitpicky about this. Sometimes that's not the point. Again, it's just to help you try different kinds of mafia. Maybe you didn't know, but the reason why there's different kinds of mafia is that mafia are organized crime in different parts of the world. They have a different title but it's the same thing. It's organized crime. They run drugs. They run schemes. They are doing things against the law. They, they intimidate and, um, use their, their power of force to intimidate people, to give them money. Um, and like they kill and do that like that, that like is what an organized crime, like a syndicate, a mafia, um, a mob, a outfit, like any of those titles, like that's what it is. The way that we like separate some of them is where like, these are the ones that have like made themselves known in time. You can look into the history of the mafia. It's a whole big thing. It is like wildly discussed. I've looked into some of the history of the mafia. I'm not pretending to be a connoisseur of the real history of the mafia. I'm not trying to do that. This isn't the point. I don't care for the mafia in real life. I think it's gross. I think it's evil. Just the way I think that a lot of dark romance scenarios in real life would be evil. This is fantasy. This is in our perfect world, what we want it to be, right? Um, just want to make that clear again. Some people think that us doing the Mafia Readathon is weird. And I'm like, it's not because I'm not actually advocating for organized crime in real life. I don't think it's a good thing. But my point of this being, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six different types of mafia that are the most well-known and are going to be the ones you're going to find books about the most. And those are the Bratva, which is Russian mafia or anywhere in that area. You'll see them just called the Bratva. Okay. There is Irish mafia. Okay. Think the O'Malley's, the O'Connor's, the, uh, uh, I just forgot everyone's name, but the O'Malley, the O'Connor's, the, um, 
yep, that's all I got. O'Malley's and O'Connor's is all that's coming to mind. <laughs> we got them, all right? Um, the Italian mob, which is different from the Cosa Nostra. And I'm going to tell you how, even though they're both from Italy, okay? So Cosa Nostra, also called the Sicilian Mafia. That's where I was going to go with this if you go into the history. That is Sicil Sicilian Mafia is believed to be like where the very beginnings of what the mafia and like the U.S. kind of started at. There are some great, great things you could watch on this. But that is why there is like a difference between Cosa Nostra and like Italian Mafia because Cosa Nostra and Sicilian, like they are very like true to themselves. Think in this case, I'll give you the example, like um, Mafia Madman. Sorry, I started with that. Mafia Mistress. Like um, the, where it says the, uh, literally what's it called? The Italy Bad Men. What's that series called? The Dons of Italy or something. I don't know, but that's Sicilian Mafia. It takes place in Italy and they are Cosa Nostra. That's what they are. Um, think, um, When Heroes Fall, uh, by Gianna Darling. Like they originate in Sicily. That's where he like runs to when he goes for safety later. So there are ones and they will say if they're Cosa Nostra. If they say you're Ita they're Italian in the book and they don't mention Cosa Nostra or Sicily, you can just say they're Italian mob. It's fine. It's fine. And also no one's, no, no one's going to torture you if you get it wrong. This is just for fun. So you can try some different mafias and see that like there's a difference between the American like Italian mob and the ones who call themselves Cosa Nostra because they're trying to like lean back into that. I'm taking too long to explain this. But anyway, that's the difference between Italian mob and Sicilian mafia, even though that's both from Italy. You'll, you'll see the more that you read that there's, there's a difference. Um, also then I have Yakuza, which is the Japanese crime syndicate. Okay. Um, I'll just show this right now. This is one on my TBR. Straight up, Yakuza lover. That's the thing. Yakuza may be the one that's the biggest stretch for some people. It is for me. Besides Yakuza lover, the manga, I've only read one book that had Yakuza in it, but I did look up on, um, Goodreads. Like there are quite a few of them. Um, I'm going to put together like, um, a couple of slides on Instagram that have recs. They won't be recs that I've read, but ones that you guys can check out and let me know. And then Mexican cartel that those ones are a little easier to find. Um, as well. So yeah, this isn't all of them by any means. There's also like the Greek mafia and you'll find other, you know, there's some in Australia too, that's called something else, you know, like the Nikki Harris series, like there's mafia there. Um, but these, these are just the ones that I put in the readathon. They're the ones I think it's the easiest to stumble upon it. Um, and they're going to be the most popular to find anyway, is these six. I think you'll have the best time at finding, but we have so many prompts you don't have to do all these. You can just pick one. You could just pick Bratva and then use the other ones, right? Okay, so we also have audiobook, new to you, author, next in a series, tattooed hero. Pretty standard, should be pretty obvious for those. Then we have blood on the cover. Okay, I don't have it. I didn't bring like Rex for all this because I've made so many Mafia Rex, I didn't grab anything. But a lot of these ones have to do with the title and the covers of these. So blood on the cover anywhere. That can be in the title if you want, or actual, like, if there's some with, like, blood spots on them. Like, I know, like, there was one called, like, Savage Queen that had, like, blood on the cover of it. If it has Mafia in the title, great. Royalty in the title. King, Queen, Prince, or Princess in the title. Maybe if it even straight up says royalty, that's fine. But I'm going for King, Queen, Prince, or Princess in the title. Vicious, Corrupt, or Cruel is in the title, right? We got Cruel Prince, Vicious, uh, Vicious Protector, things like that. Takes place outside of the USA. Um, the Mila Finelli series would be a good example of that. Um, arranged or Forced Marriage. Those are a dime a dozen in Mafia. That one's pretty much a gimme. Um, an outsider to the mafia. Again, hold up Yakuza lover. That's what I'm using this one for. Someone who had no idea what she was stepping into until she falls into it. Oldest mafia in your library. So either in your physical library, if you know it's the one you've had the longest, or in your Kindle library, if you scroll all the way down. I actually love doing this now and then. Or what's fun, this is actually really fun. If you go on the dex desktop and you go to your content library and you short the filter by like oldest to newest, See what's your oldest mafia in there. I've done that for one of my mafia ones one time, and it was like my favorite one that I read that time, which was really cool because I'd had it for so long. And then, of course, Captor Captive Romance. Again, a dime a dozen for this. Okay, so 
those are what all the prompts are. Those are what all the options are for you guys. Put it together how you want or don't even use the prompts. The point is just to read some mafia. Use the hashtag mafia romance readathon 2023 on Instagram when you talk about it, when you um, make your videos about it. If you do, um, and kind of hang out with us there. Come do the sprints with us. Now I will give you my TBR real quick since it's my main TBR and we will wrap this video up. So I made my cute little board. I just kept it pretty simple. I'm going to decorate it as I complete the books and as I go. But here's my little nine squares. Um, and here are the six books that I put on my TBR. Yeah, I made kind of a big list here. But I also have options with it. Like I have it worked out that like three of these books basically give me a blackout. Um, but for sure, I mean, they give me a bingo. We don't have to go for blackout, by the way. Like you don't have to go for any of them. Um, okay, so I have Wicked Mafia Prince by Annika Martin on my series. So I read, um, like, the first book in this series a couple years ago. Um, and again, like I mentioned when I talked about it earlier, I'm going to be seeing An Annika Martin. Um, and I ordered copies of the whole trilogy to get signed. So I was like, Oh, I will literally have these books. They'll be brand new. I'll be excited to read it. But I have read the first one and I liked it because I remember that they like drove through Minnesota in the book. And I just liked where it, where it took place because I was from Minnesota. And so they like drove through Duluth at one point. I was like, Oh my God, the mafia just drove through Duluth. What the hell? And it was cool. And so this one will cover next in a series because I've read the first one. It will cover mafia in the title and it will cover royalty in the title because it's wicked mafia prince. So there we go. Then I want to read Control Me by Michelle Hurd um, because I want to get caught up. She is about to have the fourth book come out in this series and I'm so behind. I fell behind. She releases her book so quick. She's so great. But this one I think is, I can't remember if in this one I think he's maybe a teacher at the mafia school and she's a student. Like, I don't remember. Okay. And he's not like an official teacher shit, but I can't remember either way. They're enemies at this school. Um, and this one will cover next in series, um, Bratva and tattooed hero. Um, then I got a gift from a follower whose name is Katie. She sent me two mafia books that are her favorites. And so she was like, I know that you've never heard of this author. You've never mentioned her, but I would like you to give her a try. And there's audiobook for this one. So I was on board to give this one a go. So this is Mafia and Angel. It is a Marciano Mafia romance by Issa Oliver. Um, and this one, I think is supposed to be an arranged marriage. Yeah, this one's not yes this one's an arranged marriage um and it says here it says this is a single dad enemies to lovers grumpy sunshine age gap and an arranged marriage this book features a jealous possessive hero a sassy heroine steam banter chemistry passion and angst and this is an hea um, but it's an interconnected series so i was like okay girl you sold me and it's the perfect time for the mafia readathon so this one covers mafia in the title arranged marriage and it's a new to me author because I've never tried this author yet. So there we go. Then I already showed this one. I have Yakuza Lover. Um, I lied. Mafia and Angel doesn't have an audiobook. That's another one I'm about to do. Sorry. Didn't do, didn't get to that one. So Yakuza Lover volume six. So I've read one through five, all the way through eight is out right now. So it's time to get back in. I wanted to put one on here that if I'm like swinging out with some, I know that I will be happy to go back to Oya and uh, Yuri. Like I know I'm going to have a good time if I read this one. So I just want to give myself one that I knew I would love. And this one is um, Yakuza and it's also Outsider to the Mafia. So then I mentioned, well, I didn't mention this in this one. I was sent Deviant Hearts by Jagger Cole from Valentine PR. And I believe that I've read a Jagger Cole because I originally had this one for a new to me author, but then I think I've read a novella by Jagger Cole. This is actually a male romance author, which super cool. And it's also not MM romance, which I feel like the times when I read male authors, they're usually MM and this one's not, this one's not. So I'm intrigued to see how he does. I know this author has a lot of books. 
Um, and the one I've read was only a novella. So I think it was just like, okay, novellas are never my like total bag of tricks, but there is a novella-a-thon happening in a couple days. So I might try to read some of his then. But this one is a arranged marriage between the Greek and the Irish mafia, which is super cool. So I'm going to give this one a go. I'm super excited. It's, it looks, it looks great. It looks great. And I hope that I like this author because he has a shit ton of books. So it could be a good binge for me. So this one covers Irish mafia, uh, arranged marriage and tattooed hero. And like I said, I did have this for new to me author, but it's not, which is okay. Cause I have a couple authors for that. Then the last one that I'm going to try to do, and this one is an audiobook. This is one. I wanted at least one audiobook and like none of these have audiobooks. I think Wicked Mafia Prince might have an audiobook. I'd have to search for it. But this is one that I also got in um, the uh, free, free book Stuff Your Kindle. I got this one back in December when they did it. And this one is called The Devil I Don't Know by L.K. Shaw. And I think this one is also an arranged marriage. And this one is Irish Mafia, Arranged Marriage, Tattooed Hero, and a New to Me Author. And I think this one is a bit shorter of a book too, but it also has an audiobook, so I'm here for it. So those are the six books that I have on my TBR. This is also my complete TBR for May. Now you've seen it. It is full to the bursting, but I'm excited to give it a go. So thank you so much for sticking around. This is much longer than my normal TBR video, but let me know if you're interested in the Mafia Romance Readathon, if you're going to give it a go. Um, check out my playlist for Dark Romance. I have a crap ton of Mafia in there and make sure you're following the other hosts because they will have rec videos coming out too. Thanks so much for watching friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.